right door here. Just pull on the handle there. And we will close. Love that. Of course. Plug it out with any kind of pull it again and mm. it'll just stop it anyway. outlets here okay and of course you can I'll show that to you at the inside but you know you can you have an inverter so uh, you can run uh, your electrical appliances off your battery of course, mm. you know if need be you know if you're dry camping or whatever or of course you can use the generator you know okay. to do that and I'll show all that to you okay of course. Yeah. absolutely okay. Is this your first RV or have you mm -hmm. had them before? No, I didn't have okay. one. Okay, God, like I said, please ask any questions. There's no dumb questions at all. Okay. okay. Uh, you have a, a rear view camera up here. So when you put it in reverse, the camera will automatically come on. Mm -hmm. You don't have to push any buttons or anything to turn the camera on uh, when you're doing that. Then we have uh, a fuse pedal here. Okay. And of course they're all labeled there so you know if you have a problem with uh, one particular item you can go right here and find it you know without saying oh god which one is it you know <laughs> and this is the same with this one over here of course they're all labeled and uh, we have more inside there's circuit breakers inside just regular circuit breakers but you know if your audience not working you know you want to you know check fuse number two one, two, <laughs> and then let's see what else do we have here. Put those in, and then it has the little tabs there, which will slide up in there. And then need a little bit of a fingernail to, to open it up. <laughs> I cut my nails last night, and mm -hmm. I uh, they're a little short. Okay, we've got storage under here. Okay. And uh, this is where you would put your power cord. This is your power cord right here. <clears throat> this comes with it. Okay, and then, oh, they didn't put the starter box in here. We gotta get a, a starter kit for you too. And I'll explain all of that to you. And that starter kit though, it'll have an adapter. Okay, that'll plug into uh, the end of that plug right there. I'll show it to you when we get it. And, uh, It'll uh, adapt it to so where you can plug it, like in your garage, your 110 outlet. Mm -hmm. So, like if you want to get ready the night before for camping or whatever, you know, uh -huh. you can plug into your house okay. and, you know, get power. Okay. If you don't want to use your batteries or start the generator or anything. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay. We've got a nice little vent here for the stuff that's inside here, and I'll show it to you. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, uh, like the inner workings of the van, you know, and stuff like that. I'll show it to you though. Uh, you have a, a standard seven way plug here. It's really, really standard. Uh, that's all they're using right now. You know, you don't need anything special uh, for that. You know, like if you're gonna pull something, you know, or tow something, they're all like that now. And then of course you have a two and a half inch uh, receiver here. It's two and a half inches, which is standard. Okay, and then the end that you plug in here, they call it a rat tail. Okay, so you could put, you know, like uh, plug in a bike rack or a spare tire. So you can put a spare tire rack here or, uh, you know, anything, you pull a trailer, whatever. Right down here, okay. We'll open this up okay this is your hose and you'll get another one too with the starter kit 
Uh, this is the hose for your sewer, and I'll show you how that works. That's on the other side over there. Okay, but that's your storage compartment for that one. And you know, you can have a that other one will be like a spare, or uh, you can keep it with the coach. And we just turn it, and she's bought. But it's also labeled here, which way to go. Oops. It's on top of it right there. It says close, it has an arrow, mm -hmm. and then above that, it'll have open. Of course, on there. All right. Okay, over here is uh, where you plug in for shore power, is what they call it. You know, you can call it anything you want. <laughs> but see, they have this little uh, <coughs> screw device on here. Okay, and that keeps you that keeps you plugged in in case somebody walks by and trips on it and it doesn't unplug. So what you'll do, you just unscrew it, pull it out. Uh, obviously the same in reverse. Get your threads lined up there, and and now you're nice and tight. And of course, this one just. Uh, just folds and kind of snaps into place there. Uh, <clears throat> right here is the exhaust for your uh, diesel uh, generator. Okay. Right here, this is another exhaust. This is for your uh, furnace and your wa hot water heater. They both run on diesel. Isn't that cool? Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> they both run on diesel, so that would be the exhaust for that. And it's not like this is. It's not going to be blowing out smoke or anything, you know, like a, a regular muffler. It's just uh, very, very, very little will come out of there. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then over here, <clears throat> that's the exhaust for burning. Okay, and then this one is an exhaust too, but it's more like a, like a. Uh, a fan or whatever so uh, it would be for your hot water heater and your uh, furnace as well this will get hot okay that's burning it and then this is just letting off excess heat so you really don't want to touch it but in the winter time if you're cold you come over here and warm up your hands you know mm. <clears throat> it would work real nice let me find your keys here okay Come in here now. Open this up. Okay. This is where you would fill up your uh, tank with uh, fresh water. Okay. You just hook up the hose to it right there. And once it starts to overflow, uh, your tank will be full. And you can always monitor it too inside the coach, you know. And I'll show you all of that, of course. Uh, okay. We want to turn it this way. Okay. Okay, right now it's on fresh. So that's where you're holding tanks. Okay. And then if you turn it to city over here, you uh, hook up your garden hose if you're at an RV park or whatever. Okay. And they have water, you know. So you'll hook up your garden hose on one end and uh, on that end to the spigot but you'll also have a pressure regulator that comes with it and i'll show you that as soon as we get that uh, starter kit over here and that pressure regulator you'll screw that on first to the hose okay and then you'll screw it onto the spigot okay because uh, you never know what kind of water pressure you know an rv park is going to have you don't want to blow out all your seals and everything mm -hmm. you know so it's just a safety thing you mm -hmm. know mm -hmm. then of course uh like i said you turn it to city Okay, and then you would hook up your garden hose here, and you wouldn't have to use the fresh water in your tank. You can save that, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, but if you're out dry camping, you know, then of course you wouldn't have access to a hose, so you would just have it on fresh right here. Mm -hmm. And you'd be ready to rock and roll. <clears throat> okay. Obviously, uh, well, I obviously got that. You have a cable TV outlet here, okay. Most RV parks have it, you know. Uh, uh, cable TV, you know, but if you don't, if they don't, you know, depending on the, well, I guess if you're way, way, way up in the mountains, you might not get anything, but uh, these TVs will program automatically for the, for the uh, 
area that you're in, you know. Like right now, it's all programmed for here, and I think there's like 40-some channels, you know, for regular TV, and it'll automatically program it. Okay, these are for the flush for your uh, gray water tank and your black water tank. Do you know the difference between the two? One's one is shower and another one is uh, excrement. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the shower, the sink, you know. Uh, so uh, if you want to flush it out, you just pop these little caps off. You just take these little caps off, they just unscrew, and of course you don't want to use your good hose, you know, to do that, you know, mm -hmm. but you will get a, you will get a brand new hose as well, mm -hmm. okay, and then you just hook this up, okay, but uh, you want to have these open over here mm -hmm. when you flush it out. Oh, okay. You know, because if the tank gets too full, then it starts, it has no place to go, so, mm -hmm. you know, come back up, mm -hmm. okay, so right here okay is where you would hook up that the, the sewer hose that i showed you that was in the storage compartment underneath the on the passenger side over there mm -hmm. so this is a twist lock so you just twist it mm -hmm. and you can see how it locks there mm -hmm. and then the cap will pop right off mm -hmm. and then you put your hose up there and it'll do the you know then you just do the opposite thing and it'll lock it has the same the sewer hose has the same uh hookup it hooks on just the same way as the cap does it just comes right off mm -hmm. uh, just a twist and lock and then you just in reverse just go back like that okay and then the first you know if you okay first of all let's say you're just gonna dump you know for right now okay uh, like you're gonna go to the dumping station over here and you're just gonna dump the first one you want to do is your black one your black handle and that just pulls straight out okay and then you just push it straight in and uh, that'll close it. So pull it out, mm -hmm. that opens it up, mm -hmm. and then push it in, and mm -hmm. it uh, closes it. But you wanna do the black one first, okay? Mm -hmm. And then after you're done with that, then you push that one back in, and then do your gray water. Mm -hmm. The reason you do that is because it'll it'll flush, flush out it. the lines mm -hmm. a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. if you don't have access to that, you mm -hmm. know? So. And, uh, and then, like I said, uh, back to that over there with the, uh, the black and the, uh, gray water little uh, 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 where you hook up the hose there mm -hmm. so if you hook it up to the black water of course you want this empty mm -hmm. or open you'll have your hose on here mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and then you know then you can move to your gray water and flush that tank out mm -hmm. you know with the garden hose It'll obviously open mm -hmm. and then you just push it back in and boom mm -hmm. you're all clean okay and then we give you some uh, uh, disinfectant or uh, uh, disinfect it and they break down the uh, the excrement uh, we give that to you in the starter bucket and that you just put in a toilet I'll show you once we get it just put a little packet in the toilet put a little water in the toilet put the packet in there and flush it and then you would use one of those every time you empty your tank mm -hmm. and that stuff is really really cheap man I mean cheap 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 mm -hmm. not in quality but uh, you know as far as buying it you know you know, you can get it online and, you know, I don't buy anything unless uh, I got free shipping, you know. So, you get that uh, with free shipping and, uh, boom, you're ready to go. Do you have any questions about this here? No. Okay. So, we'll go back over here. I kind of jumped a little bit. Locked. There we go. Got that nice and locked. This is a brand new one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. Do you have any questions about this here? Nope. Okay, we'll screw this back on. Just like the garden hose. What screw on here. Of course, these are nice so you don't lose the, the caps. Make sure that's all the way on. Okay, make sure that one's tight. Alrighty close this one back up get a key out okay now we have our shower over here pretty cool you guys got dogs or anything here no well then this will be just for you guys <laughs> okay. 
Okay. There's a spare key there. Do you want to leave it there? Do you want to take it out? Or? Yeah. Do you want it? Or do you, do you want to leave it there? Oh, you mean the shower? Oh, no, the spare key. Oh, I see. Um, we can take it later. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, absolutely. So you'll have your shower here, your outside shower. You have your regular knobs, you know, just like a shower. Okay. And this is a volume control here. So you can go one way and it'll it'll uh, slow down the water and then it'll also, also shut it off. If you, you know, if you go far enough, it'll shut it off. So if you're out here doing something, you know, and uh, you don't want to walk back over here and turn this off, you know, mm. both of the knobs off, you can shut it off right here. Mm -hmm. And obviously it'll increase and decrease the water pressure. Mm -hmm. But if you go all the way, I don't know which way it is, but you'll find out. Mm -hmm. But if you go all the way, it'll shut it off. So mm. I think that's pretty cool. Is it hot and the cold? Yeah, uh -huh. hot and cold. This one's hot and then this one's cold. They're labeled there, H and C. So, uh, shouldn't have any uh, problem there. Let me see, let me get this back in there so that's right. Okay, let me see. Oops. I'm trying to keep that on my lap there. have enough oops I guess we know which way is on now huh mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go come on uh, let me see put this in first then maybe we can get that in there we go that's much better okay we got that in there There we go. Okay, and then that'll close. Uh, I can get that uh, key out. There we go. When they cut those keys, they need a little tiny bit of wear on them. <laughs> They'll start behaving. So we'll go ahead and open up the hood now. Show you what's going on in there. Get it by the time or if it ever happens you know but uh you know it's brand new so nothing's gonna happen for a very long time of course but just say for instance that the the battery over here just this one over here dies you know and you can't start it you need to jump what you do is you'll push this turn it a little bit okay and you hook up your positive cable right here mm -hmm. okay and then right over here there's a brass uh, Bolt there. There you go, right there. Yeah, and uh, that's where you would hook up your negative key. This is spring loaded here, so you gotta hold it back and then you know put your cable on, and then it'll stay. Okay. Windshield wiper fluid will go here. Okay. You got uh, uh, your oil fill right here, and this is a brand new one. So, uh, what they did is they eliminated the dipstick, okay? And that's all on your dash now. That'll that give you uh, all the information you need right there in your dash uh, for your oil. Okay? Uh, right here is your overflow for your um, radiator, you know, like any other car would have, you know, mm -hmm. just your regular overflow there. And of course, you have your 12-volt uh, battery right here. Okay, this here is uh, the cabin air. You know, all cars have them, you know, but this is where the, the cabin air comes from. Uh, okay, otherwise we would suffocate inside our cars, you know, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. 
I wish mine was that big. I just have a car, of course, you know, so. <laughs> uh, any questions under the hood here? No. Is this the air filter? Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. oh, and uh, the brake fluid, of course, sir, was right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Isn't that new engine beautiful? Mm -hmm. Nice and clean. Oh, boy. Oh, and then you have uh, your uh, def. Have you, are you familiar with that? Mm -hmm. That's the additive that you have to add when you fill it up with uh, diesel for the clean air. Mm. Okay. So what you do is you would just unscrew this cap here and then you would pour it in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, you can get that at like any gas station or Walmart or wherever. And let's say, for instance, that you ran out of this. Okay. But you still had diesel fuel. It's not going to strand you. <clears throat> okay, but you'll only able to be able to drive it like 25 miles an hour. Mm. But there's a gauge on your uh, dash there that tells you how much you how much you have. So uh, you know you don't have to worry about doing it blind or anything. You know mm -hmm. it'll it'll tell you it'll even come on automatically and tell you that it's low. Mm -hmm. But this lasts a long time, man. Mm. It's not like you're pouring it in every day or every time you fill up. You can, you know, if you want, but, you know, it doesn't use that much. You know, mm -hmm. so, you, know you can always, if you're at the gas station, you know, you can always push the button and see how much you got in. Mm -hmm. you know, okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you have to have that. But like I said, you know, it won't strand you if you do run out, but you'll only be able to do 25 miles an hour. So, mm -hmm. uh, one of those clean air things, you know. Yeah. So. Any uh, any questions here? No. Okay. We'll hook this back up right here. That just snaps into place. Okay. And there we go. Nice and tight. Uh, <coughs> right here. Uh, that's for towing. The tow truck drivers know that that just the, that little <coughs> cap pops off. There's a hook in there. Okay, and then they. You know, you'll never. This is a Mercedes, for God's sake. It's German. That thing's never coming off, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that thing is never coming off. I got a Volkswagen with 156,000 miles of Jetta. Shoot, that thing's barely broke in, you know. <laughs> These Germans do a really, really, really good job on it. <coughs> I'll open up the Audi for you. Okay. Let me, uh, Let's see, that's the back light. Let me see where they hit that thing. Let me check here real quick. See if it's on here. I forgot to look for the awning switch on this thing. I said we don't, uh... Okay. And I'll go through this with you, too. Here, <clears throat> generator, water pump. Let's see, the gallery, the front, the bed. Okay, they got it over here. They usually over here. Oh, did you see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, there it is. Well, no, that's that. That's, the, that's our battery. That's our fridge. There we go. Here's the awning. Well, that's the awning light. Okay, we got more controls over here. Let me see. Okay. That's the light. Okay. There's the air conditioner. I'll go through this with you here. Okay, there's the inverter. Yeah, I still don't see the awning out here. <coughs> Have it right here, so we're the, the switch. What's that? I, I used it before. It's on this menu. It's on this menu, mm -hmm. okay. It's the one that has all of the, yeah, that one retract. Oh, there it is, right there. <clears throat> okay, so that is so we got retract. Okay, that's back. Okay, I'll hit extend. Uh, uh. Is she coming? did last time. I think he did the first one. Yeah. Uh, on the button. Yeah. Uh, not again. Hold on. I don't hear it. It's doing something.
should have it. Uh, oops. Should have an Ani light here somewhere. There it is. And we have our LED lights there. Of course, the Ani. Okay. And if you let that come in, we can start on the inside now if you like. Okay. Obviously, they all come with a fire extinguisher there. Uh, we have your uh, sink here. We got a nice big sink for this unit, you know. Of course, it works just like a regular water faucet. And it's labeled there for hot and cold. Mm -hmm. So you know which way to go. Are you familiar with these, uh, with these uh, induction ovens at all? Not really. Okay. See, right now, all we can do is just turn the power on. We can't do anything else right now, mm. okay? And it'll only come on if you use a metal pan, okay? Mm. You know, something that a magnet would stick to, mm -hmm. okay? And then once you set that metal pan on here, okay, then you'll be able to uh, operate this, mm -hmm. okay? And you got your power button on, you turn your heat on, and then you can set your temperature here for whatever you like. Mm -hmm. And then off you go to the races, and of course you have your uh, timer there, mm -hmm. and uh, obviously this will uh, display uh, your temperature there. You can just push that button, it'll display it here, and you can adjust it accordingly. Like I said, it only, uh, that's as far as you can get with it, uh, right there. Okay, of course. Is that a safety feature? This here? Yes, it is. Mm. <laughs> But it's kind of weird that you can only use the metal pan, huh? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> we have your refrigerator right here with a, with a freezer, okay? And you have a dial control. This one is really nice because it's a dial control right here mm -hmm. to adjust your temperature there. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously it comes with a little ice tray there, but man, this is a good size refrigerator, isn't it? For, mm -hmm. you know, the size yeah. of vehicle that you have here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <clears throat> okay. This little lock here, you know, obviously it's locked right now, but they also have this one here, <clears throat> you know, like when you're traveling or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just a little safety feature. This is your uh, solar panel right here. And as you can see, uh, your batteries are full right now, and it's got 14 volts in there right now. Okay, the green light says that it's full, okay, and this one here tells you that it's on okay mm -hmm. right here this is obviously the uh the condition of the battery which is green you know it's brand new you know of course okay and put this button here and this is just a uh, kind of like a, a menu because right now we're not uh, pulling in any amps because it's full okay and uh, right there it's because it's full we only got like 11.6 coming in, but you saw it, it was 14, you know, mm -hmm. that was full. See, uh, it was 14.1 right there. Okay, so that's just kind of like a little menu. That's really not much you can do with it because it's all automatic, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. But if you're curious, you know, you can just, you know, play with the buttons and whatnot, you know, uh, and you'll be uh, uh, something to do, you know. Mm -hmm. you, have an, uh, you have another uh, 110 uh, outlet there, okay. And that plug there is for your refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's an electric refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you close it and then you push the button in on all of these here mm -hmm. and it locks it. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's the lock position right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and let's see. Here. Storage compartments. Love this RV. Oh my God, I love this thing. Okay, right here. Okay. These are all the covers for your windows. Hmm. So if you want to cover, you know, anything up, any of the windows up, just pull these out, and mm -hmm. they're just all covers for the for the windows here. Mm -hmm. Really nice covers too. They're not cheap, you know, real thin where they're gonna tear, you know, or something like that. There's really, really thick material here. And they're heavy too. You know they're thick. <laughs> right over here is where you can control the temperature for your uh, water heater. Okay, that would be uh, off there. 
on okay and see you can uh, control uh, whoops let's see we're all the way up now but you can go all the way down to 95 degrees whatever you like uh, for the uh, water heater temperature mm -hmm. and then I said it, it'll only go down to 95 and then usually we got about 130 you know this is where we put it you know somewhere around there I just keep pressing that right there okay you have a GFI switch here which is nice because it trips obviously with the green lights on then we know we're good and then we have another touch touch control panel over here which is the exact same one as that one over there but we'll go through it and I'll uh, it's easier to do that one over there and most uh, USB ports don't have a green light on it which I think is cool you know it's just a USB port by itself you know mm -hmm. and this way you know you've got power coming to it all the time mm -hmm. which is really really nice you know then of course we had the uh, table leg right here did we let's see and then uh, let's see here I gotta get Chris up here or what happened to him Must have got pulled off got more storage over here and then we have uh, two remotes here okay uh, one for the TV and then one for your uh, DVD player mm -hmm. and, I'll put, and they have batteries in them they're not the you know like the Duracells or anything you know but the, but they're new you know they are new so you don't have to go out and buy any batteries you know mm -hmm. for these things right away <clears throat> you have a uh, smoke detector up here okay mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then let's see and then down here, okay, this is a carbon monoxide tester, okay? Because, mm -hmm. you know, you're running your diesel, uh, you're running your furnace, you know, and uh, your hot water heater off a of diesel. Mm. So that's just a, a, a carbon monoxide. Over here, of course, is your DVD player. And then more USB ports. And then this is your radio. <laughs> Over here, okay? Mm -hmm. And that'll come on here in just a second. And the radio should come on. It takes a second here to load up, I think. Come on. Come on. Where are you? I had this thing playing. It's probably still powering up. Yeah, it's probably still powering up. In the meantime, this will come off. You have a little ring right here. You just pull that down this ring right here mm -hmm. and it'll release the TV of course and then you can go anywhere you want with it mm -hmm. there's the yeah you're right it was still powering up and then this part okay needs to be on this side okay because mm -hmm. you can put it on the other side you know but this part needs to be on this side in order for it to snap back in place mm -hmm. and then it locks mm -hmm. <clears throat> and there it is it's locked mm -hmm. Yep, there's our radio. And uh, you can see, you know, it's got all kinds of functions on there. Like right there, you can adjust the volume for each speaker. Mm -hmm. Just all kinds of neat stuff to play with, you know. <clears throat> okay. And here is your uh, wireless remote. <clears throat> okay. For your vent. And uh, you can adjust the vent speed on there. Or, and, uh, you know. You can have it programmed to, you know, if you've got too much humidity in here, it'll automatically, the fan will automatically come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you know that that fan is automatic there? Electric? This one? Yeah. What is uh, this one? Uh, for venting. And this, uh, with that remote there, okay, this, you can do it by hand, but it has an uh, electric motor. So it'll do, do raise... Do it by hand here? What's that? What is this? Oh, that's for opening and closing the lid. Oh, okay. okay, on top there, mm -hmm. but it's got a little electric motor on it, mm -hmm. so you can uh, just use your remote and it'll go ee, and then of course they'll turn it on too with the remote. Mm -hmm. You can turn it on too, so that's really really cool. So you don't have to. I, I mean, you guys got <laughs> you guys got it made with this thing, man. <laughs> this thing is so cool. Ah, okay, okay, so uh, it's not gonna happen for many 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 years, of course. But if you do have a flat tire, okay, they recommend that you uh, you need to use these lug nuts, okay, mm -hmm. and then uh, with uh, with the spare tire, okay, and then 
once you get your tire fixed, then you put the, you know, the originals back on there. Mm -hmm. Okay? But there's no spare tire no, that comes uh, with it. I looked at it. Yeah, I didn't see one. Mm. Okay. okay. This is all your, uh, your manuals. Mm -hmm. uh, this is probably for the Mercedes part of it. And then all of this would be for all of the other functions, I believe. And it is. This is for all, uh, for the rest of the uh, coach here. So it'll cover everything, you know, the Blu-ray, it'll cover the TV, you know, anything. Anything and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, okay. Your inverter. Okay. Do you have any questions about that inverter? Uh, so... I mean, it's automatic, right? It, yeah. it just converts uh, whatever DC voltage from the battery to AC. Uh huh. That's yeah. it. Yeah. And what? you can control that here. You can turn the inverter on and off if you like. Oh, okay. Okay, but uh, yeah, we've got everything here for uh, right down to the pumps, you know, for the water pump, uh, everything, the furnace, mm -hmm. everything. Microwave. Oh, yeah. Are you familiar with the uh, uh, with the convection oven? Tell me about it. Okay. So what you want to do? Okay. Let's say you're just going to microwave something. Okay, and you're not going to use uh, the oven. What you want to do is you want to take this out because it's metal. Uh, you know, go sparky, sparky. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if you want to use the convection oven, then you would put this back in there as a tray, okay? Then you would press convection, uh, convection okay? Mm -hmm. And then you would press uh, how long you want uh, to cook for. Mm -hmm. And then of course you would just press start, okay? But you know, you know the convection oven is like you can bake and stuff like that, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. cake cookies or, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, okay. casserole or whatever, you know, uh, if you want to do it the, the, with the oven type. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool, you know. I don't know how it works, you know. I don't understand how it works because shoot, everything is metal in there, you know. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that you have to take out is this, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't understand how it works. There's smart guys over there, you know. But it does work. You why know? do you need so, to take it out? What's that? Uh, why do you need to, as in... Not, just for the microwave. Or just for the microwave. No, right? I meant, uh, why do you need it for the convection oven? Oh, you don't have to put it in there. Oh, okay. It's just a little... Um, I see. I, I think I'd rather not just put it in there in the first place because... Okay. Yeah. That's fine. That's it or you leave no, it's okay. Leave it in there. We'll, okay. we'll take care of it. Okay. But there's instructions on how uh, mm -hmm. you know, to mm -hmm. do everything with it, and there's instructions here too on how to do it. That's pretty cool. Okay, we got the obviously the the bathroom light. Mm -hmm. This is so cool, man. You got a full bathroom in here. You know, my God. It, it's Water. here at the top. Obviously, you have a shower curtain, and then you have your. Did you see the clothesline here? Mm -hmm. uh, that was cool, yeah, absolutely. This lifts off, you know, for the shower, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, your toilet paper holder there, mm -hmm. uh, your pedal. So you just step on it lightly, and that'll put water in there. You want to keep water in there, right? Oh, uh, you know, because, you know, just like your bathroom mm -hmm. uh, at your house, that water keeps the, the smell from the tank. Mm -hmm. from, coming mm -hmm. up, you know. Mm -hmm. So you just step on it lightly and that'll fill the, you know, put a little, uh, however much you want in there, you know, it'll put a little bit in there. Mm -hmm. Then of course, you know, you step on the pedal all the way and it flushes it, you know. Absolutely. It has the, the hot and cold function as well on this one here. Okay. And then like I said, the toilet paper uh, holder there, there's some paperwork in there, you know, for this. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's inside there. Um, you have a little fan here as well. Just push the button and boom, it's on its way, it's working. Oh, you can see it with the phone, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's just a little red button right there. Okay, did those lights come on? I put a story in there. Oh, I did. There we go. LED lights, of course, they'll last forever, you know. But isn't that cool, man? Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, you got a full bathroom in this Does room. this turn around or not? No, oh. I, it's solid. As far as I know, yeah, it's solid. Uh, a lever to uh, turn that around. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Uh, the seats turned around though. Mm -hmm. I'll show you that. Okay, the fan is off. We got beautiful black. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's see where that thing goes. Underneath here, this is hinge. Okay, and then underneath here is all of your, or uh, most of your electronics here. Okay, mm -hmm. you need a technician to do that if anything mm -hmm. does ever go haywire in this thing, but I doubt it. I'm very sure to doubt that's going to happen. Okay, that'll sit back like that. These will snap into the wall here, of course. If I can get that. See, I can turn that off. This one does the same thing. Okay. We got two of them here. Huh. Okay. Okay. And this is your plumbing here. Here's your fresh water tank. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, your pump. Of course, your hoses. Your on and off valve there. Mm -hmm. When you want to winterize it, you know, mm -hmm. you can just shut those off. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. I think you uh, put it, you didn't put it on that. So. Yeah, I think that smaller one goes in first, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see. I'm just looking at that. No, that'll fall through. Okay, that one's going to put it on. Nope, that one's still too short. Okay. Isn't this for this? What that? Isn't this for this? This board? Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe. Yeah, that could be our other cushion. Huh? There we go. Well, you're good, man. You're good. I like that. Teach me something. And then, of course, these will unsnap. Mm -hmm. And then they will go in the middle. Mm -hmm. you, should be you should be teaching me. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. Is that there is a, so cool. Right is, on, man. Is there another cushion there? Uh, you would use these here. That's oh, why gotcha. they unsnap. Gotcha. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Right on, man. Good eye. Really good eye. And of course, see there's mm -hmm. uh, both of those there. And then here is your uh, circuit breakers. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, on the other side of this, uh, back side of this door here, they're labeled mm -hmm. on which one is which. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you don't have any power to the microwave or something, just click. Mm -hmm. Uh, check the circuit breaker, of course, first. And, uh, oops. And, uh, yeah. Piece of cake. Okay. Right on, man. I'm glad you showed me that. <laughs> Teaching me. Okay, we just need to figure out where the cable goes. I'll call for us after we're done. Got her snapped in there really nice, and of course the the bed. Okay, you have uh, up and down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me see here. Go the right way. Yep. Okay. Is it gonna be just you and your wife, or? Mm -hmm. are you guys going any uh, any place uh, in particular for your first uh, trip, or? Probably just the ocean for now. Right on. Man. Mm -hmm. That's great. And of course, uh, you know, she'll go all the way down there. Mm -hmm. Of course, the doors will close. You know, mm -hmm. you don't have, you don't even have to have the doors open. I tried it. You don't have to have the doors open to uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, to do this. We gotta find that hole for that table. Okay. You think? I think that'd be something that... Uh, I, I think it just goes here, like it just wasn't mounted. That, that's what I'm suspecting. I think you're right, yeah. Yeah, because they either go there mm -hmm. or right here. 
but uh, we will get that fixed for you mm -hmm. now, you know, today. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course you got your uh, air conditioning. You can open it up all the way, okay, like that. Or you can close these and then just have it come out here. Mm -hmm. Or you can just have uh, this closed, of course, and then come out there. Or you can go wide open, you know, of course, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all three of them. And uh, yeah, let's see, what else do we got? Well, we got the, the seat over here and the control panel. Okay, I'll get this put back for you real quick. And I'll show you how the And you can obviously bring the seat back to give you more room. Mm -hmm. But uh, the handle for it, to swing the seat, is right there. Mm -hmm. So you just bring it like that, mm -hmm. and then she'll swing around for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same with the driver's side, right? Yes. Well, I don't know. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Yes, it will turn too. It has that same mm -hmm. handle on there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. We got our seat back. Were you familiar with the? Uh, this is a uh, uh, for your battery cutoff. Mm -hmm. So say, for instance, that you're storing it, and you can just uh, cut the batteries off to the coach uh, completely. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's not running anything and you're slowly and slowly and slowly, you can just cut off everything and boom. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not draining your batteries at all. Your story. Were you able to play with the touch tone or the touch screen here? Or mm -hmm. Not very much? Just for the, uh, you know, retraction and the extension of the... Oh, okay. Well, see on this uh, first screen here, on your home screen, okay, it'll uh, show how much propane you've got. Should we switch places? Oh, sure, it's, sure, sure. Uh, oh, reflecting. Sorry about I, that. I can't see. Sorry no about problem. that. Okay, it'll tell you how much propane you've got, and we're mm -hmm. full. Uh, you can see that our black water tank is empty. Our gray water tank is empty. We got a 67% full of uh, fresh water. Mm -hmm. Okay, tells you the temperature outside. Uh, uh, yeah, and then this one here, you can adjust that temperature for your air conditioner, you know, to come on automatically. We'll get to that uh, other screen. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know, you can do your bed from here. That's the same display panel mm -hmm. that we did over there. Then you've got your light master switch there. Okay, tells you how much you've got, uh, how many voltage you have. Okay, mm -hmm. this here will start your generator. Which one? This button right here. Just uh -huh. needs to go up to 13 volts. Yeah, like 13 volts. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But it won't overcharge your batteries. The generator will not overcharge your batteries. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, I'm just saying, you know, for your camping, you know, and you want to use your generator, you know, just go ahead and fire it up, you know. Mm -hmm. But normally when you're driving, it just, uh, you know, it charges up the batteries for you. Okay. 
could I and could I achieve the same thing by just running the engine? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You certainly can. Yeah. Uh, did you get the solar option on this one? I think so. It, 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 yeah. Solar panel? Yeah. Yeah, you played with it, right? Right. Uh -huh. But uh, the solar will always be charging your batteries, too. Oh, so okay. when you're stopped, you know, it will always be charging your batteries. So. Okay. Okay, we'll go ahead and stop this. Then you have all your lights here, and I have them all on right now, except for the, the fog light. And of course you can dim these uh, these lights here, mm -hmm. if you like. Uh, or uh, oh, you have your master lights, uh, your master switch there for your lights, of course. Mm -hmm. And then this is for your air conditioner and your heater. Mm -hmm. uh, or is that just for the heater? Of course you'll hit that one there. Okay, and then it'll it'll automatically come on. Come on. All right, so let me turn that down. I'll put that on too. Come on, start up. <laughs> Takes a minute. Maybe I'm too heavy, see. Here we go. We got her down for right now. Okay. Okay. Turn that off. Okay. There's your inverter. You can turn it on or off just by pushing that one single button there. Okay. Just the screen brightness of this thing here and of course you know to bring this thing to life you just touch you know if the screen is not touching anywhere on the screen and of course she'll come right back to uh, uh, to life there okay touch this button for system diagnostic usually the you know the, the customer is uh, or not the customer but the technician you know would use that but it's all in the book there okay i'm gonna find your uh your heater here where is the heater Oh. Can I just bring the temperature up? Yeah, you can bring the temperature up, but usually it says heater, or you think that it would say heater on there. Uh, 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 maybe auto? No? Oh, that just makes heat. Yeah, I guess you would just, I guess it doesn't have it on there. Like you said, uh, you just adjust the temperature here to what you want, and it'll automatically uh, bring it up. Yeah. Yes, sir. But like I said, we're not too familiar. We don't sell too many of these. That's why I love this thing, you know, because you don't get to see it too often. And uh, I'm not too familiar with that, uh, how they did that with this one here, because usually it'll have heat, you know, and then you press that. But, you no, know, you do make sense, you know, when you, you can just raise that and then, boom, you know, uh, touch auto on there and it'll automatically come on. I if I get this thing to try to figure out how to shut it off. <laughs> off doesn't work? Oh, I'm trying it, yeah. I think that, that's just for the AC. It's just for the what? For the AC, I think, that's the yeah. button. When you push that's the, the different button. Yeah, the AC is... Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. It just it has to cycle a little bit before it uh, turns off. Mm -hmm. Okay, right here. Okay. This will all, also tell you how much, uh, how many volts you have in your battery. Okay. And you, you basically only want to, you know, uh, you can see this is for the solar it's charging right now mm -hmm. okay and then okay shows you your input uh 2.6 amps uh, we got uh 0.8 percent load on here okay you're ready for you know 110 volt plug-in there okay 59.9 hertz like I said, all of this, this is just uh, technical stuff here. Okay, yeah. But like I said, all of this is in the book there, you know. You know and then you can just uh, touch that and then it'll time out. Okay, after a few seconds here. Let's find out about that table. Do you have any questions? First of all, do you have any questions about anything? Um, 
Yeah, don't no. be afraid. Don't, don't be hesitant to ask. No, I think. Tell me, tell me if you have anything. You know? No, I think we're good. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I think we're covered. Okay. Let me go find out about the table. If that's okay. okay with you. Yeah, sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, unless there's anything else that we need to go over here. Um. No, I think we're good. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I want to make sure that you're happy. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. Thank you. Oh, good deal. Well, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go. Well, you know what? I'm gonna take it with me, okay? Okay. So they can put that in there or find it or whatever. I see. Okay. Yeah. Would yeah. that be okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay.